Yo, yo, this your boy Medicine Man bringing you a tutorial on how to hook up the MPK49 with FL Studio. I get questions all the time on Twitter, in the comments here in YouTube, so I figured, what the hell? Might as well make a tutorial so y'all can leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> y'all know I'm joking. I appreciate all you guys. Everyone who supports me is greatly appreciated. Y'all know that. So basically, we're going to change the settings in the board and then go into FL Studio, change the settings in there to get everything hooked up and a quick little template so every time you load up FL Studio, all the faders and knobs is working straight from the get-go. Also, a quick note, this is the settings that work for me because every other tutorial I've ever seen, even when I try to hook up mine, it didn't work. So this is the settings that work for me. So let's get right into it. All right, now this is gonna get your transport panel to work, your pads, basically everything. First thing you wanna do is hit preset. I know there's some presets in here, but there's no FL Studio one. But the one that works for me is generic 17. There it is, hit enter, then hit global. Then go to your MIDI clock, set it to, to internal. Now when I put it to external, my pads don't work and my ARPs don't work. So I set it to internal, hit enter, hit edit. If it doesn't say transport, then just hit one of these transport buttons. Boom. Now hit enter, change it to MMC. Hit enter, boom, done. So now that's done. Let's open up FL Studio. All right, go to options, MIDI settings. The output, that could be left alone. The input, select the MPK, click enable. There it is. That's simple. We done. Everything's hooked up. Let's check out the transport. Play button works. Stop. Records going. Okay, we good. Now let's set up a template. Go to file, new from template. So let's start with uh, let's go with empty for right now. Open up your mixer. Now this fader right here. Let's right click it. Link to controller. Now right here you can actually click any button you want, but let's set it to the first fader. Okay, that's going. Let's go to the second one. Right click, link to controller. Let's do that. Let's go to this pan right here, right click, link to controller. Let's do the first knob, boom, we going. So you would just keep on doing this with every fader, with every knob, whatever you wanna link up to any button on your board, you just keep doing that. So once you have that, click file, save as, go to templates, power user, and for now let's click, let's type in test. That's what we're going to call it. We'll call it test. So once we have that done, X out. Open up FL Studio again. New from template. Test. There it is. Okay. Click the mixer to see if everything's good still. There it is. We still good. None of the other faders work because we didn't hook any of them up. But those three do. So now let's X out again. So now every time you open up FL Studio, that template's gonna load up. So don't forget also you can add VSTs here, you could change the BPM, you could already have preset effects in here. Basically, that's it. Anything you want, and uh it'll be loaded up right when you start FL Studio. And don't forget that you have three banks on your board. So you can assign anything to, I think it's three banks. It's A, B, and A and B together, which is basically C. So I hope this helped you guys. If you guys got any more questions, leave a comment. And of course, as usual, I'll help you guys out. I always help you guys out. I'm always replying to all my comments because I like interacting with you guys. So give it a thumbs up. Share it if you can. Don't forget to subscribe if you ain't already, and I'll see you with the next video.